Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Well, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. We are on part two of the stolen turnabout today. Uh -huh. We thought it was over. Nope. Now there's I a guess murder. There's a murder. The, the first rule of every Phoenix Wright case. Even there's if it, always a there's murder. There's always a murder. That's what even I if it's said at the beginning. I was like, wait, there's got to be a murder at some point. You're like, no, there's just like just a stolen murder. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, first rule of any Phoenix Wright case, even if it seems like there's no murder, there's going to be a murder at some point in the oh, case. No. So we're on stolen turnabout part three investigation. Let's go for the chapter start okay. right now. Okay. Yeah! Oh, look! It's Charlie the Plant! It's October 13th, 3.02 p.m., the Wright & Company taller. law offices. No, nope, it's the same sprite. Okay. You know, I'm glad we found the urn and all, but poor Mr. Delight got arrested again. Well, supposedly Mr. Delight was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Jose! I don't buy it! But the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there, it was Mr. Nick himself, at least from what I can understand. Looks like you did too good of a job this time, Nick. Um, uh, well, how about we get started looking into the KB security murder? I think I'm going to head back to Korean Village for a little while, if that's alright. Sure, but why? I'm going to bring the sacred urn back and have some people take a look at it. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll go with... No, Mystic Maya, you should stay here! I want you two to spend more time, special quality time together, full of love and happiness! Maybe Pearls is so caught up in her fantasy she forgot there's a murder to solve. Sacred urn given to Pearls. <laughs> now remember, no fighting, okay? Pearls, the most avid Phoenix Maya shipper there is. <laughs> there is. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Okay, Nick, time to get going on this murder investigation. But I wish Pearls was here. Oh, well, Maya's good. Yeah. An old movie po poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it a long time ago. Wait a second, this is deja vu. I think we've read this before. Maya well, cried all night last <laughs> time as well. But there's a but there's a poster up there. Yeah, it's a poster of a bunch of people. Oh. Dancing at a wedding, poster? maybe. Oh. Why would you put a poster over, over a poster? A poster? <laughs> oh. No, respect to room bigger. bigger. <laughs> wow. Charlie, a quite decorative plant. Wait, why am I doing this? We examined this all last time. Whoops. <laughs> it's our mess. I just picture it's like right in company wafts. It's like a plant. <laughs> there. People are like, what? what? The <laughs> well, let's talk then. What to do? So, what do we do now? Isn't it obvious? We should get out there and investigate the murder. Well, first we need to find out exactly where KB Security is located. Hey, why don't we ask Mrs. Delight? She should know. Besides, I want to ask her some stuff about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You're not thinking of getting one, are you? I'm not the same little Maya who used to be happy with her dinky little bike, Nicky boy. <sighs> Speaking of asking around, I've got a few questions of my own for Mr. Delight. Okay, well, let's make sure to go to the detention center, too. <laughs> and Marty gets to work on it. Apparently a new voice for Miss Delight. Because <gasps> I was so mean. Because you were like, so mean. <laughs> I'm like, that's like the worst voice I've ever heard. You need to change it. <laughs> I'm like, mm. Here's the problem. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, well, here's my thing. I was perfectly fine with it for, like, the beginning and then the last episode. Last episode, I just got there. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, she, she's a change. What the heck? Drink. <laughs> so I'm yeah, like, maybe this bad. isn't going to work out. I could fix that. <laughs> I could make her a little higher. It's just... It, to me, it's like a blend between Mia and, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember her name, Emma. Emma, you just use your default voice for. Yeah, so it's like a blend between Mia and my chemistry voice. <laughs> you know. have a special voice for chemistry no, okay, class? <laughs> last year, I was super duper down on energy. I was getting like four hours of sleep a night. And so I just feel like, okay, so we need to, like, go through and... You did not give out. Emma that voice. No, but it's, like, a little bit, like, okay, it's the factual me. Where it's, like, okay, if we take 2% of this milk and we add it to the carbon... <laughs> we take the I milk swear, that's 2% milk. <laughs> I swear I passed chemistry. <laughs> Let's just... We're not salvaging this, are we? Nope. <laughs> you must be relieved we got the sacred urn back, huh? You bet. But there's something a little different about it. Don't 
asking me? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this. It clearly says I am on the urn in the poster. But the urn we got back says Ami like it always used to. Oh yeah, you're right. Plus, the vase has pink splotches on it now. I'm sure they weren't there before. Maya doesn't know, but one year ago, when the urn was broken, the repairer accidentally turned Mystic Ami's name into I Am. And Pearl was like, shoot, let me fix this! <laughs> and that repairer was one mechanically unskilled Whittle Pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing pink splotches on it. I mean, credit that must be given to Pearls for A, still managing to put it together the wrong way, and B, actually spelling, spelling something, something out of it. Like, how does that even happen? Yeah. I pro it probably makes more sense in Japan. The pink Japan. splotches... Oh, I know where that was from. Do I you? just realized. There was all the paint stuff in the other scene where it was just like... <laughs> when the person walked in. Oh, so yeah? So maybe it spilled on the urn. Is it possible that the urn is a fake? I'm sure Pearls will find out once she gets back to Curring Village. Yeah, I suppose. Now that I think about it, Maya hasn't been back to Curring Village in a long time. It's fine. She doesn't need to go back. So, I guess people still go to Karain Village to do their training, right? Yep, if you want to become a spirit medium, you need to undergo severe training. So why haven't you been uh, training lately, Maya? Well... Lately I've been thinking of heading to the channeling dojo to do just that! A channeling dojo, huh? Sounds pretty serious, whatever that is. If you're going to train, you have to be serious, otherwise real tragedies can happen. Is that what happened last year? Or is what happened last year still bothering you? Let's have another flashback! <laughs> that murder in her village, it happened because the power of channeling was misused. When a medium uses the Korean technique, she temporarily loses her own will. So when an especially strong spirit is summoned, the spirit medium can get taken over and even forced to commit terrible crimes. Here's the thing, though. Didn't she not- wasn't she not able to channel? Yeah, she just... didn't channel anything. Okay, so it wasn't a problem. Okay. Right. She didn't lose her free will. The person no. just came up and was well, like, Whoop! and then like threw her in a box. Yep, exactly yep. like that. <laughs> What's worse, in those cases, the spirit medium has no memory of what happened. And it's stupid because the spirit medium gets blamed for the murder, even though oh, it was the spirit! spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's still my biggest pet peeve about that case. Yeah. Bang. Bang! The Joker shot someone. That murder, it wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but... I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. Sounds like being the master of Korean is going to be a heavy responsibility. Especially if weird people like a random doctor are like, I need to get revenge on this person who destroyed my life! There's a little bit of Eggman's grandfather in there. <laughs> I forgot about that! <laughs> that is basically what he was! Yeah. October 13th, oh, Lord Lieutenant. Oh, grateful here. Please stop. Feel please stop. I lost despair. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <sighs> October 13th, Lord Lee Taylor Main Exhibition Hall. The treasures of Korean exhibit is all ruined now. That is not correct, Grandma. Maya. I'm sorry, I'm just so, it's just so sad. This was our big chance for everyone to learn about spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer her up somehow. Sure, you're Well, now that we've got the sacred urn back, maybe they can reopen it. Really? Sure! Maybe we can label it the urn of Mask Damask's desires. That would probably attract a lot of attention. Whoa! 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 That's brilliant, Nick! We could clean up and be filthy rich! Woohoo! Wow, that was surprisingly easy. She's not hard to get. I love the happy. piano music here. <laughs> yeah, just learn how to play this. On the piano. Um. <laughs> October 13th, Why Wolby did they Taylor, put all the warehouse. stuff back there? What do you mean? All this stuff was here the first time. No, but we picked up the sword. And stuff, so I why think is we it just back made a the note of the sword. Oh, maybe that might be why. You're not really supposed to steal stuff. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright! Miss Andrews, what's she still hanging around down here for? Um, so how is it going? What about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yes! It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright has done nothing- or has nothing to do with it! It was Master Mask's wife that found it! 
Well, anyway, I'm I'm so relieved. Do, 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 do. I love the spy music. Hey, Miss Andrews. I just heard all about it on the news. So that detective was actually the thief all along. Wait, if she heard about it on the news, then how did she not know we didn't have the same nerd back? Plot <laughs> hole. <laughs> it looks that way right now. It, it's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Damask to guard the treasures. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey, Nick! If she wants to apologize, you should let her! So, when was it that you hired Detective at me again? About 20 days ago. And when was it that Mask Damask's calling card arrived? That was about 10 days ago. So he sent a calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. I guess that's it, then. Detective Abby must really have wanted the Sacred Urn after all. I guess so. I'm guessing he wanted to steal something else, and then somebody got in his way. What?! So Mask Damask m murdered someone as well?! Well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought that he was here stealing the urn at the time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything is possible. Nick, let's get down to business already! To defeat the Huns! On the night of the theft, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Atme? No, I couldn't have. I was on a business trip. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's this picture here? I forgot about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he literally... Oh, this is a great picture. After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even got a glimpse of him. He claims that's the way he always operates. Uh-huh. That's just what he says so he can have an alibi when he commits the theft himself. Yeah, he was caught on the crime scene photo dressed up as Mask to Mask pretty well. Who <laughs> wears his nose? I like the idea that it's a false nose. That would be great. <laughs> Because let's be honest, nobody's nose in real life is actually that long. No. I've seen some big noses. But, but that's like a Pinocchio like, nose like a after Pinocchio he starts no lying. <laughs> yeah. Or like a Waluigi. <laughs> I'm so glad that you got your urn back. Yeah, but there's still something that bothers me about it. What is it? I'm not exactly sure, but somehow the urn that came back seems different. R really? I wonder if she made it. I wonder if she was like, I gotta get a replica somewhere and it makes it. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? <laughs> no, I don't know anything. Why would I? <laughs> I was probably right. Wow, two. Two? A cyclops. Two. I can't do just two. Let's pretend you have 200 instead. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go back later. <laughs> you don't yeah. think we have what we need right now? It's, it's, actually, we <laughs> Nah. Okay, let's, let's examine. Maybe there's some new stuff. Check out the fire hydrant. Um, Check out the box! You mean the extinguisher? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. It's just box a box. That pathetic looking wooden box. Ah! That's the box that had the sacred urn in it! Yeah, we've seen this before. Don't touch it, because Maya made the box. Oh. Mm -hmm. I worked so hard to make that box! <laughs> yeah, see? You made it? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, poor Maya. <laughs> it does look like it was made out of bamboo. A little bit. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's we there's didn't nothing get it. new here. It's because we didn't get it in our, um, stuff. Yeah. There's nothing new here. We've okay. examined it all. Well, there's a gigantic paint spill. <laughs> I wonder if, like, was Mask to Mask, like, d d d whoosh, and just, hey, like, um, slipped a on Adrian, the Larry paint. totally has the hots for you. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know as many people as I used to. So there really isn't anything I can tell you about that person. No, no. Do you think he's hot? I would, <laughs> I would totally set her up if she is. Good <laughs> Check this dude out. Uh, uh same nope. thing. Uh, how about yourself? <laughs> tell us about yourself. I'm really terrible at judging people, I guess. I should have learned my lesson after what happened seven months ago. She's doing that well after seven months? Damn. Good for her! She's got a good job, she seems a little more mentally stable, That's and she has a little bit more self-esteem. That's pretty good. And she's going through a goth phase. <laughs> no, she had the black top, I thought before. No, it was blue. Oh, it was blue? Yeah, she's going through a goth phase a little. She also but I didn't! Point. I got this! I got taken in by this! 
Flim Flam Detective! Flim Flam is the guy who hangs out with Scooby-Doo in that one really terrible spin-off show. Is he? Yeah. I don't remember that. He's like the really racist, not racist guy, he's the really offensive guy where it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, like the seven ghosts of Scooby-Doo where like, they, it's like Scooby, Shaggy, and Scrappy team up with Tibetan pickpocket Flim Flam. <laughs> what? Was this like the 90s? I think so, Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> this is back when that type of thing was more acceptable. Right. Don't feel so bad. After all, we're here to help. Yes, Mr. Wright is a really wonderful man, isn't he? I would ship it. That should have made me happy, but she just admitted she's terrible at judging people. Oh, come on. I can tell you're happy anyway. How about... <laughs> just, <laughs> just give him Phoenix Wright. I will. That. Now I realize I should have called the police. As soon as I got that calling card from Master Mask, I mean... Yeah, I guess you should have. Well, now that Detective Gumshoe is one more failure to add on to his list. Oh? You mean he's not a very good detective? It's a good thing he's not here to hear us talking about him. He just starts sneezing in the background. Cough, cough. You've certainly changed since I last saw you seven months ago. Has he? What, really? Yes. You look like you've bulked up a little. And you have longer eyebrows, too. Well, now that she mentions it... I guess I have gotten a little stronger. All those kicking down the doors from the last game. I forgot about that. Punch down the door, get to my- He did it twice. He did it twice. You're such a dork, Nick. Okay, I, I totally should Phoenix and her. And her? She, she, she seems to be into him. I mean, I guess. He's also like a single dude who has decent hair and a decent job. And, is <laughs> and he's not so wearing cool. the pink pea sweater anymore. And yeah. Oh, look, his house. Let's, is let's invade open. his house and steal stuff. It's poetic justice, you yeah. know? Yeah. Whoa, this place is literally crawling with cops. Yes, clearly. Look at all of them. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. I can't even count them all. Yep. What did you expect? Now that they know he was actually masked to mask, this must be incredibly embarrassing for them, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make up for it by tearing the place apart. Well, maybe they find stuff in his chemistry sets. <laughs> hey, I just noticed uh, Gumshoe is nowhere to be seen. He was fired like two games ago, so... He's a homicide <laughs> detective! He's probably working on the murder case! That's true! Um, <laughs> but also the person who fired him two games ago was Damon Gant, who we know what happened to him, so... But he also was kind of fired. And Oh, and Franziska fired him. Franziska fired him, yeah. But then he got hired at the end. Yeah, yeah. because he uh, drove... 90 into miles a, into an hour a into a pole. telephone pole. <laughs> oh, anyway. But wasn't he in charge of the mask to mask investigation all the way up to yesterday? Well, a murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? He'd say something like, There's nothing like a good murder case, pal! Points for the quality of the impression, but I'm not sure Gumshoe has bloodlust, Maya. Considering there's crawling with pol police cops... Police, Police cops? cops? Is there any more? Th <laughs> is there any other type of cop? <laughs> Police cops and uh, Ninja Ninja ship chops and, and <laughs> just stop, <laughs> just stop. <laughs> Our, oh, oh, it's oh, it's your opportunity. Think of the, oh no, think of the voice you're gonna oh, give. Oh no, I'm panicking. Oh, and please like, don't make it like uh, I'm smoking, smoking like a bad day. Not gonna take it. <laughs> She's so sad that her husband's in jail that she just she takes smokes enough smoke. cigarettes in one day to lower her voice like <laughs> two octaves. <laughs> Hi guys, no, Desiree no, Delight here. I'll, I'll think of something. Oh, Nikki boy, Maya, Miss Delight. All I wanted to do was help my dear Ronnie. Yeah, but I guess it ended up hurting his case. Don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need your help beating herself up. Hey, Nicky boy, please, please help Ronnie. He's not a killer, I swear. My Ronnie wouldn't hurt a fly. Much better. All right, I'll poke around and see what I can find out. Really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so happy. I knew asking for your help was the right thing to do. I, I don't know what I can do to help anymore. I had no idea Miss Delight had such a vulnerable side. Okay, that's, that's a good blend, actually. Hey. Between the two, okay. That, yeah, that's episode, a lot better. Last episode was like, ah. I, was, I was ready to be done with the case. I was just like, goodbye! Later, dude. <laughs> I'll see you around the hospital. I can't wait to hear that in recording. If it ever gets uploaded, it'll be like... It will. It'll be like years from when this is done. It might be, actually. <laughs> I'll be done with college. Actually, it'll definitely be more than a year. Because we still have all of the second game to upload. 
Yeah, at this point. For those of you who don't know, right now, I think I just uploaded episode 15 of Kirby Air, Air Ride. Ride. <laughs> As of the time of this recording. We haven't recording. uploaded the second game at all. And yep. then, yeah, I'll be in college. All right, let's, let's, let's talk about over. your husband. Listen carefully, Nikki boy. My Ronnie would never, ever kill anyone. It's just not in him. I don't think he would either, Nick. Yeah, but you have to admit he's got a bit of a temper on too. I think she killed him. It's not that hard to imagine him just snapping and screaming, PLEASE DIE! He would never say that! Anyway, Miss Delight, he might not be a killer, but he's still going around saying he's a thief. I already told you, that's just a fantasy for him. Miss Delight, I hate to say it, but you're the one living in a fantasy world. Wh what How dare you say that to me, Nikki boy? I know everything about my Ronnie. We don't have any secrets between us. Ronnie isn't the thief type. He's so honest he wouldn't even sneak a nap. He's he's so honest that he wouldn't even steal a glance. Thief! Ha! <laughs> the very idea! Hmm, I guess I just don't get it. Huh? Get what? I just can't understand how they can be so different and yet be such a happy couple. Yeah, they sure are different. Come on now, Nikki boy. It's not that mysterious, is it? Wait, I said that out loud? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it was love at first sight. For me, anyway. What? For you? I saw him counting up all his money. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, he's got money, and money, and I want... <laughs> is that all you think this is? <laughs> her, her, her name, her Japan name was Gold Digger. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Apparently the Japanese names are even more ridiculously bad puns than the American. My name's Gold Digger. I like gold. And digging. <laughs> and digging. <laughs> and digging for gold. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a nice transition. Um, so was it really love at first sight when you first met Mr. Delight? Well, maybe not at first sight, but Ronnie saved my life. Saved your life? I was at work one day when two robbers suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind to just curl into a little ball in a corner, so I fought back. R robbers Yes, they took me hostage. I was so frightened. They were both carrying these huge knives, and I broke into tears. Yeah, I would too if I were in that situation. So basically she was Maya in this case. Okay. <laughs> basically. Oh, I think I get it! Did Mr. Delight come running to save you? Yes, exactly! I remember he looked so handsome in that guard uniform of his. He went right up to those two knife-wielding robbers and screamed in their faces. <laughs> Please stop it! <laughs> and they're like, okay, <laughs> drop her. <laughs> what is up with this picture? Oh, my, whoa, check out the guy on the right. I've never seen his face like that. He looks like a guy, yeah. No, he looks like one of the ghosts in Haunted Mansion, the ride. Like, with the way his mouth looks. One of the hitchhiking ghosts. Yeah, and the other dude looks like he has like a... Really terrible like a, lamp shade that's like for it's a, a ski lamp. mask. Oh. Okay, but on top of it, see, yeah, there's like a weird. <laughs> or, like, no, it's like a Santa hat. <laughs> oh, a Santa hat. It's like a Santa hat ski. Meanwhile, mask. Princess Leia is um stopping these two, <laughs> <laughs> these two <laughs> from killing. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. I can see the robber's face is turned pale. That high pitched shriek of his does have a surprisingly strong effect on people. Then crying and swinging his arms like crazy, he attacked the two robbers. All by himself. He came to save me, a total stranger, all by himself. He was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Wow, that's a great story. Yeah, he may not look it, but in a tough situation, there's no one better. That's why I fell in love with him like I did. <laughs> that's so romantic. I feel I'd feel I'd fall in love too, I guess. Nick, I hope you'll do the same for me if I ever get taken hostage. You have! <laughs> With Maya, that possibility always seems to loom in the not-so-distant future. Yeah, you have been taken hostage. Maya! Maya, you almost died, too! Like, she was like, twice. so <laughs> thirsty. Actually, she's almost died, like, three times. Three times. <laughs> three times. I think. Four, if you count Von Karma tasing her. Oh, yeah! <laughs> ah, that was great. I hate these kinds of people more than anything. Um, you mean Ace Detectives? No, I'm fine with Ace Detectives. Oh, so then you must mean thieves? No, they're alright too. I just hate thieves that pretend to be Ace Detectives. That's incredibly specific. There's nothing I hate more than cowardly men. 
What about cowardly women? That's sexist. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, why did you go to Detective Atme's office anyway? He owed me money, and well, and I, I, I just stuff. He, and he borrowed my chemistry set. <laughs> <laughs> she has the chemistry set. <laughs> well, as the trial went on, I started to get more and more nervous. I went there to try and find out more about the real criminal. Wait. Didn't she, like, dump him off at the voice beer? I'm off to run my bike! See ya! What yeah. do you want to be ya? But, like, didn't actually say yeah, that. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's what she did, yeah. She went there, to, uh, went there to find out more about the real criminal. The real criminal? Yeah, obviously the real Master Mask is not my Ronnie, right? Y yeah And Detective Abby knew more about the Master Mask than anyone else. They mentioned him on the Great People of Town segment on TV. So then, you went there to ask him some questions? That's right. I'll do whatever it takes to save my man. His secretary said, The ace detective isn't in right now! But I forced my way past her and into his hideout. We never met her. No, we did not. I wouldn't exactly call that office of his a hideout. That bag was sitting right there on top of his table. Oh yeah, we saw that bag there yesterday too! Why did he leave it there? There's nothing lower than someone who would try to pin a crime on someone else. How about KB Security, huh? <laughs> Miss Delight, do you know about KB Security? Don't be silly, of course I do. That's where my Ronnie works. So she thinks he still works there, huh? Oh, that's right. According to what we heard today. <sighs> Come on. Coffee. Don't tell me you didn't know about it. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. But he quit. He doesn't work there anymore. It looks like Miss Delight doesn't know. That's like straight out of a Flintstones episode. Barney, how about we quit our jobs and do a different thing, like run a fast food place and not tell our wives about it? Sounds <laughs> great! <laughs> sure thing, Fred. That sounds like a good idea. Then I'm gonna steal your Coco Pebbles. <laughs> 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 All of the episodes of Floodstones, it's like swimming pool. They uh, that's, that's just, they do something stupid, and their wives find out about it, and they like make up for it. Um, the mother-in-law comes. The, the prowler. Is the on prowler the on the loose. <laughs> I forgot what the prowler with the golfing trophy. Okay, no, no. There are five Flintstones plots. One, Fred and Barney do something stupid and have to hide it from Wilma and Betty. Uh, two, um, <laughs> like, the Prowler's on those free. His mother-in-law comes to visit. Yeah. Um, Fred and Barney quit their jobs and, and like, try, try something, something else. new. And, uh, what's the fifth one? Oh, yeah, the Great Gazoo does stupid stuff. Oh, yeah. Katie's <laughs> security is only about 20 minutes away. By motorcycle, that is. And if you're speeding. Larry told me it takes 30 minutes by car. <laughs> Well, I have to admit, I tend to fly pretty fast on my bike. To make it to KB Security that fast, are you sure you aren't literally flying? <laughs> Why don't I give you a ride sometime? Or better yet, how about now? Um, uh, no, I'll pass, thanks. Why don't you just tell us where it is and we'll go ourselves? Haha, <laughs> what a scaredy cat you are, Nick. Miss Delight told us the location of KB Security. Okay, let's head over there right away, Nick. Or... We could go to the detention, the detention center, center and um, visit little Jimmy, who's in detention. Who's Jimmy? Oh. The kid who did something naughty in class and now has to go to detention. Really? No. I was like, what? <laughs> um, what? What do you think? CEO's office or detention center? CEO's office is going to be, like, bloody and <laughs> disgusting. And there's did probably going to be... You, do you think he got, like, dismembered? <laughs> they said he was murdered. Who knows? Yeah, that, that um, could mean a I lot might, of things. I kind of want to go to the CEO's office. I kind of want to go there. October 13th, KB like Security no CEO's windows. office. So I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look really thick. Just like you'd expect in a CEO's office. What has that got to do with anything? Hey, it's you guys. Oh, it's Detective Gumshoe. Today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? Sure was, pal! That prosecutor made real fools out of us! Yeah, I feel for you. Well, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like... Oh, that was great! You guys got what you deserve, pal! <laughs> or something to that effect. D do I really sound like that to you, pal? If the gumshoe fits... Um, well, anyway... The point is, I can tell when someone puts their heart into their jobs. 
and I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes, I feel like wrong is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumshoe was such a nice guy. Now if this little love fest is over, maybe we can start investigating? Um, uh, are there like, a ton of police here? Well, Gumshoe's here, we can talk to him. Sure. Detective Gumshoe, tell us what you know about the murder! Um, okay, but the thing is, I'm really not supposed to. Hey, come on! What about how we put our hearts into our work? Things are really working against us right now, we need help! Oh, okay, okay, I'll tell you, just don't start crying on me, okay, pal? Okay, I won't cry on you, pal! The victim's name is Kane Bullard. Ugh. He was... That's <laughs> not nice! <laughs> wait, You see wait. this guy's face and you're just like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's just not what I expected. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He looks okay. This sounds really terrible to say. He looks a little bit like um Reggie from Nintendo. He was a little bit older. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know. Reggie. I can't believe they killed Reggie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How are we gonna get our Nintendo products no, now? No, I don't know. He looks a little bit like that. But then also, like his hair on top reminds me of Dante Robinson from wow. Backyard. That's Dante Robinson grown up. He became Reggie and then got <laughs> murdered. <laughs> he was the CEO of KB Security and a pretty big fella in his own right. His corpse was discovered at 9 o'clock this morning. His estimated time of death was 1 o'clock on the morning on October 5th, 12th. Cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Probably an object in this room. <sighs> it happened at exactly the same time that Mas Damascus was stealing the urn, huh? Maybe, Autopsy maybe report he died by the actual sacred urn. So, why did it take it almost an entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Bullard's body was stashed away inside the safe. So somebody knew the safe combination as well. You in order to get in there. Yeah, that or it was opened while the murder was taking place. I really doubt that you would be in the office. <laughs> That's the other thing. Why would the dude, unless if he was actually the one who put out the blackmail letter, why would he be like, eh, well, it's 1 a.m., but I can still work. It's fine. <laughs> That's not, but like, I know that's more of a thing in Japan. But it's like, oh yeah, I called you my office, come on in. Yeah, I do. Yeah, like, I, at one in the morning. Safe? Well, it is pretty big. Nobody had heard from him, and when they opened the safe this morning, out he came. Oh, Ugh. so the body fell out. That white stream must be the shape from when he fell out. I think we still need some more information about Mr. Biller. Maybe you could start by getting the man's name right. I actually... Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what happened to Mask to Mask? He's at the detention center screaming like a madman. Investigate me again! He keeps yelling. Ah, no, no, I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyway, right? Oh, you mean that detective at me? <laughs> oh, that was great! That guy got what he deserved! <laughs> what is- what? Was he put in the electric chair? What happened? Now that's the detective I know and love. Think about it. At me was always around when a calling card showed up. But he always mysteriously disappeared when the heists took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. Heh, <laughs> yeah right. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was the thief. I'm surprised he didn't get caught sooner, which makes me wonder if that was supposed to be... Like the fall guy? Yeah. Mm. I still think he might have been the one that was blackmailed. I, I don't know, maybe it's like a... Maybe it's like someone's blackmailed, so then somebody has to do this other thing, so then, like... The shot so a gun to shoot, shoot a gun, a gun just to get shoot the camera. The camera. <laughs> no, no, but it could be like a fallout effect where it's like, okay, the real Mask to Mask got this calling card. Maybe that's actually Ron. And it's, or not, not the calling card, um, the blackmail letter. And then from there he's like, um, I already promised I was gonna go do this job. And I'll if send I don't show else. up, I'll send somebody else. And then it's like the two clashing um. problems, maybe. Or it could be the other way around. So are you saying, at me are you saying, got, <laughs> got the thing. And he was like, well. Okay, so are you saying that like, at me was the one who got the blackmail letter? He's like, well, I'm gonna steal a sacred urn. So then he's like, here, Ron, you go instead to the... No, no, I think it's more the other way. I think it's like, 
he was like, okay, I'm so mad at my old boss because I used to work for him and now he's demanding $50,000 and he knows where I live probably and there's like all these things. Mm -hmm. So he was probably doing that. Otherwise, there's the wife who <laughs> may very well have just been like, I'll oh, well. <laughs> drive there and kill him myself. And she had her motorcycle the whole night. So it could have <laughs> totally well just kill Obi Wan now. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain how he was able to retrieve the stolen item he keeps bragging about. Yeah, he just did that to make himself look like a great detective. That's all. But there's this one thing that I can't figure out about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah, the Tear of Eminon case. There was a witness on that one. Oh, a witness. Here, I saved the newspaper. Oh, yes, yes, I want to read it. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. Perfect. Please let us read this. So he's there, and there's a police. Hey, the guard here. Haven't I seen him somewhere before? It's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see. But now that she mentions it, newspaper clipping added to the court. Priceless record. stolen. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. No, I'm, no, no. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'm guessing it's Mr. Uh, the, the, You're not really supposed to read it, anyways. It's just like. Oh, it, oh, oh so, so that's the that's the tier of Eminon. Okay, that dude looks like a security guard, which makes me think it could be Ronnie. But, that's possible. <laughs> but it could be Larry, and Larry's just involved in yet another case. What if Larry was actually the killer? That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, Larry also stole our lunch money, so it could happen. <laughs> he stole our lunch money in, like, fifth grade, so it's not out of the question he'd commit murder. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but, like, he he's that he's that guy. Alright, Kane's autopsy report. Time of death, October 12th at 1 a.m. Caused cerebral hemorrhaging from blunt force trauma to the head. What? What is with all this stuff of, like, let's just smack someone in the head and they're dead? Like, um, you know, everything. You know why? Less blood, so... Yeah, so yeah, it can be rated T. But, like, make it a little more realistic. Like, we had electrocution. Mm -hmm. We had, like, the shot off the boat, but not really case. We had the, oh, she shot, but it's because she was you not able to the thinker statues. <laughs> you had two thinker statues. You had the, oh... I pushed him on the fence, so off now the France. mafia's gonna kill him. That's not Devasquez's voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, no the, I was thinking of, what's the one with the Maggie Bird? Oh the, yeah, the, like, I pushed him off, off the, the cliff. cliff. <laughs> I pushed him off the bench or whatever. Off the bench? You wouldn't die! No, 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 like a bench on a cliff. <laughs> 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 Push him off the bench I'm and he the bench died. Is dead. <laughs> I would feel a lot worse about uh, Mr. Banana. Mr. Banana. Oh my gosh. It is pretty great. Oh, that pr prosecutor! I really don't like that guy! The way he used our own evidence to do that to D Mr. Delight. Yeah, I think he did that just. I think he did it that way just because he knew it hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyway. So who is that Java-addicted masked maniac anyway? Prosecutor Godot? He's quite the enigma, huh? The thing is, pal, I never even heard of the guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. That's right, he said this was his first case as a prosecutor. And it's true, according to the records anyway. But! No way he's an amateur. He's an Iceman in court. A maverick that gives me goosebumps. Maybe, uh... Um... Mr. Edgeworth trained him. Mm hmm. Maybe. I I'm trying to think of, like, this. At me did mention, like, Prosecutor Edgeworth was the one who said Godot was the best in the country. I mean, yeah, but, like, Edgeworth's also, like, on his, like, Hawaiian cruise right now, <laughs> hating the waves. <laughs> I can't even imagine Edgeworth in Hawaii. <laughs> no, but, like, he, he was off in Europe somewhere. He's, or he's abroad, like, wherever. Yeah, he's abroad, wherever. He's probably, like, inside, like, let me study these books in Germany. <laughs> How about we go to the golf and range and hit some virtual bombs? No! <laughs> no, that would be the last thing I'd work do. Goosebumps? You? Yeah, great book series. I knew something was off oh. about him, so I asked I around. I never read those. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Poor Detective Gumshoe, I had no idea you were so unpopular. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I meant. That good doe guy acts like he knows me and has a grudge against me. I get the feeling he's hiding some kind of dark secret. Secretly, he's... Secretly, I'm very lonely! <laughs> no, I, this 
is Phoenix Wright. Is Phoenix Wright as ridiculous as like Professor Layton with some of their plot No. Tests? Okay. No. So it's not, not like, even close. So it's not like I'm the reincarnation of Von Karma. I mean, no, it would. <laughs> <laughs> Professor. Okay. Phoenix Wright plot twist is like, wait, that guy faked his own death. Like, wow. The Professor Layton plot twist is like, oh, don't you know, this entire village is filled with people who are all robots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Professor Lee. I never could get into those games. Like, I played oh. the first three. They were alright. I wouldn't play the future ones, though, honestly. Yeah. Even though I've heard they're better. Anyway, oh. that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next yeah. time we actually get to examine the crime scene. Maybe we'll meet Larry around the security firm. Who knows? Maybe we'll meet someone new. Who was randomly there in the CEO's office, like, I was in the safe, and then I watched the murder, and then, like, they shoved me, they shoved him in the safe, and then she popped out. Maybe, maybe we'll meet Von Karma reincarnated. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.